Said times in his rhymes cause his memories We run into New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? Okay guys, welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to be showing you how to run tests on your S85 vanal solenoids. Now this is a problem that's not very, very well spoken about in the BMW M5 community and it's something that's never ever talked about because a lot of people are under the impression they don't fail or they just don't want to replace them because they're like a thousand dollar part or a thousand pound part. So I'm going to show you how to check them and what you need to do to renew them if your vanal solenoids are bad using ISTA-D and I'm going to show you a load of other tests as well later on in other videos how to check your throttle actuators and all the common problems on the S85 engine. So as I said to you, this is not really a very well spoken about problem as people have under the impression that these don't fail. That's just simply not the case. These parts do fail on this engine. Um, basically because you've got 10 cylinders, you don't feel it as much as you would on a six cylinder engine when one fails. And it's the same for on the N62 as well. So I'm gonna show you how to test if they're actually okay. And usually what goes bad is the O-rings because this engine produces so much heat, they end up drying up and making the O-rings wear out. And that's why they end up needing changing, which is not a hard job to do, which is something we are gonna be doing on this channel. I'm gonna be changing the O-rings on all the solenoids. But what I'm doing is I'm just preparing all the laptop we're going to load up ISTA and I'm going to show you how to run the test on the Vanos and you can also run the bleed procedure which we'll be doing in another video because that takes about 90 minutes to run the whole full bleed procedure on your Vanos honors and sometimes they do need that especially if you had your rod bearings changed and your Vanos oil line changed so you will need to bleed the whole system a lot of garages don't know that either if you take your car to have the rod bearings changed okay guys so here we are in ISTA now this is the program that um, is what BMW dealer uses all the techs in there um, dealership as you many of you already know many of you don't know this program you need to have it if you own an s85 engine or if you own an m5 or m3 this is a must-have program without this program this car will drive you insane because everything is electronic and you can run all tests using this one program to be able to diagnose the s85 and s65 and this is exactly what BMW dealer or any garage is gonna have to be able to diagnose on these cars so the first thing you're going to want to go over to so you're going to want to go over from first service functions over to troubleshooting then you're going to want to click function structure and now when you come into function structure you'll go to powertrain and then you want to go engine electronics then you want to scroll down now this is where you can test all the components of your car you'll see down here you've got the valve gear you want to come down to vanos and yes it says cylinder bank one bank two but you don't want to worry about that because it will test the whole vanal system. Now you need the car running for this exact test because it needs to be running the idle to be able to check the system. So you want to do continue test module because it's going to say that there was no problems found. So it don't want to do anything. Now as you can see here it says perform vanal system test, bleed vanal adaptions and delete vanal adaptions. So one you want to go to here is perform vanal system test which is what we're going to do now. We're going to click continue. And as you'll see, it will perform the vanal test. So mine say all okay, but we're still gonna see now if they're actually okay. So it says, do you wish to perform the vanal system test? We'll click yes. And we'll click run engine at idle speed, which we're already doing. We'll click that to continue. And now what we'll do, if you'll see right here, it revs up the engine on its own. It's revving up all the engine. While it's running this test. And as you'll see right here, You'll see the values on the cylinders coming up as well while it's running this test. You'll see 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So we're going to see what they end up coming out at. And this is how you can tell if all your solenoids are okay. Then I'm going to explain to you how you know if they're good or bad using just this system in a minute once it finishes off his test. As you see here, it's trying to sort of work out where they are or position they're in on the Vanos itself. Now, I just want to state to you guys, you cannot do this on the six-cylinder engines. This is only for S85 and S65 um, because they're all, everything's computerized. The, the M52 cannot do this. So I know a lot of you guys are going to message me asking if the M52 can do this. No, it cannot. You cannot do this on the M52. There is no bleed procedure for the M52 solenoids. This is only on the S85. So as you see there, now it tells you that the quality is not okay. Now what we're going to go to is go click continue. And as you'll see on there, it shows them all not okay. So then what we're gonna click is this. So as you see, it shows that the max stop is okay, minimum stop's okay, adjustment time, spread too small, spread too great is okay. Do not worry about this valve quality and valve current because that's something you never have to worry about at all. That's just a little crap. So don't worry about that. As you see here again, 
you got okay, 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 and not okay on the valve quality and valve current okay. As you see there again, we've got okay, 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 and not okay. So this is how they will tell you if they're actually okay. And as you see there, the adjustment time spread to great is not okay. So we're gonna have to replace that one, the exhaust cylinder bank two, on this one because that one's coming out that it's not okay. Now as you see here, the adjustment time, adjustment time spread to great is what you wanna focus mostly on. You also wanna focus on the max stop. You've also got all the limits here. This will show the same to see if they're within range. Um, this all comes up here and tells you if yours are within the range and within the spec. So adjustment too small, mine just makes it into it. Adjustment too large, um, mine just makes it in as well. So you just wanna be aware of that and be able to check yours from the actual fat values that it shows right there. Now if we go to here as well, we click continue, we'll see the crankshaft angle there, and then we'll see the adjustment again, and obviously all the valve current and valve quality, which is all there, and it will tell you if it's fine or not. So the set point is 0 0.6, and my minimum valve quality is 0 0.6 as well on bank one, so we know that's fine. We got 0 0.5 on intake cylinder bank two, which again, it's in, within the valve quality spec. Um, we don't have to worry about that. The set points between minus 150 and minus 100, minus 183. Exhaust cylinder bank two, 0 0.5 again, so we're still within range of the valve quality as well. And everything seems to be moving the way it should be, so everything seems all right in that one. So then what we'll do, we click continue, and then what it will do is it will take us back to here. So as you'll see there, guys, that's all the settings we got for the vanal system itself. Like I said, there is a lot more. I am gonna be doing another video on the bleed uh, vanal system as well. We are gonna be doing another one on deleting the vanal adaptions. I've got another one coming up for the throttle actuator as well, which I'm gonna be showing you guys on the next video, how to check your throttle uh, actuators because that's another common problem on this car, as many of you guys know. And a lot of you don't even realize that your throttle actuators actually stop on this car um, in the lower stops and you won't even tell and it sometimes won't even throw a light unless you're highly high revving this engine. So I'm gonna show you how to actually test them and it runs a test on the throttle actuators to actually test if they're good or bad. Okay guys, so there you have it. I've just shown you how to check your Vanos solenoids on the actual S85 engine. Now, like I said, not a lot of people have ever shown this, not a lot of people ever show this because they just under the belief that these solenoids do not fail because you wouldn't believe that for obviously a 70,000 pound car that these solenoids are gonna fail. And as many of you guys know, BMW upped the price on them on the first five years of this car's production because they knew they were gonna become a problem, common problem. So they upped the price to a thousand pound each from I think 350 each to a thousand pound. It was a joke, but they do not actually fail. It's actually the O-rings on the Vanos solenoids itself that actually fail and you can buy them and change them over. They fail due to heat just over time and they don't open enough. But you can clean them out as well and they'll be perfectly fine. The O-rings can be changed on them. No, they cannot be changed on the M52 motor if any of you are gonna ask me that. That is just not the case. These have O-rings on them on the S85 solenoids. There's four of them, two for each bank and two for the other side. And therefore, you have to replace all four on all the O-rings and it's not a hard job to do, which I'll be showing you in my next video how to get to them so you guys can go ahead and do it and I'll be the first to actually do that video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here. If you ain't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe and goodbye.